my subjects, it is your Lord and Master Ghidorah speaking. And today, it's Godzilla vs. Kong. Yes, it's not about me today, which is kind of disappointing, but... You know, I have to share the spotlight with other monsters, unknowingly. By the way, have you guys seen my new pick? I look freaking amazing. Looks like someone's going to crap their pants at the movie theater. So, um, if you guys smell something... Well, it was because of me. <laughs> Woo! So anyway, let's dive into this. Godzilla vs. Kong, this very photo right here. Godzilla and Kong are in a city. Not the environment I'd actually expect, or probably anyone... I mean, maybe most of us did expect it. I mean, think about it. It was going to be like, okay, if it's in the city, it, it, it might be a fair fight, but Godzilla has the advantage because, well... That's his territory. If it was on Skull Island, then, well, Kong has the advantage because he knows Skull Island, you know, layout better than, um, than Godzilla. But, let's say if they fought in, like, the desert or maybe the Amazon rainforest, then it is a completely neutral zone. That's what I actually thought was, was going to happen. They're going to put them in a completely neutral zone, and then they're going to duke it out. But here... It says that Kong is an unwilling protagonist. So, why is he fighting Godzilla? I'm thinking after King of the Monsters, something's going to happen to Godzilla mentally. He's probably going to get a big head because, you know, he took me down. <laughs> you son of a... I'll get you again next time. Gosh. But, you know, he's probably, like, all power hungry or something. Like, rah, rah. Because, you know, these monsters have personalities. The Monsterverse has displayed that these guys have, well, personalities. I mean, what, what, what's the point? They all have personalities, so I think that it's good that they wanted to give these guys personalities. I mean, the door could be like that ultra-aggressive one. Like, look, y'all don't woke me up on the wrong side of the bed. Y'all just don't wake me up. I've been asleep for a thousand years. Millions, even. And y'all think I was just going to wake up all nice and dandy? I'm going to kill all y'all. Well, most of y'all. I, I mean, some of you humans might be useful. I mean, hey. <laughs> that dream was amazing. I mean, seriously. Oh, the constant killing. The slaughter. The women. Oh, yes, the women. <laughs> um, nothing to say about that. <laughs> Ooh. So, anyway, guys, Godzilla vs. Kong, right? Um, Kong looks bigger in this photo here. He actually looks pretty close to Godzilla height. I mean, I'm not going to say the spicy of Godzilla height, but, you know, I think he's up there with Godzilla, probably a couple inches shorter, probably like 345, maybe 350. Nope, not 350. He has to be a couple inches shorter because Godzilla is 350 feet. Unless in King of the Monsters, he gets a massive size increase, which is highly unlikely because I'm still taller than him. I've always been taller than him. I mean, I don't know why most people were shocked about that anyway. Excuse me. Whew. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I just had some spicy wings from Wild Wings, you guys. I mean, jeez. Those, those are good. Hashtag Wild Wings if you guys go there. Or at least eat there. You know, it doesn't really matter if you guys eat there or... Anyway, I'm getting off topic. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm getting off topic. So, what does Kong bring to the table? I'd say mobility. I think Kong's mobility is much faster than Godzilla when he's on land. I mean, until King of the Monsters proves me otherwise, Godzilla has mild speed at best. I mean, he was charging at me... I was charging at him. I, I I don't see why people had a problem with, you know, me and Godzilla running at each other. I mean, we are realistic animals. I mean, elephants, alligators, and crocodiles have good bursts of speed when they're pissed or something. Or when they see danger coming at them. I mean, it, it's really not hard. It's really simple. And it's pretty much easy. easy you know? I mean, gosh. I mean... 
I mean, some fat people in actual real life can run, and that shocks us. So, I mean, why is it shocking when we see Godzilla or most of these animals actually running? But anyway, guys, Kong needs firepower. Godzilla is going to kill Kong in a long-range fight unless Kong has some serious uh, long-range power. I mean, seriously. Gosh, I mean, jeez. Godzilla's atomic breath, who knows, what if he, what if burning Godzilla actually does happen, and he hits me with a red spiral ray? Kong is going to get one shot right after that. Unless burning Godzilla is a transformation that only occurs, what, maybe once in a lifetime? Maybe Godzilla can only do it once for certain situations? But no. Come on now. He's not going to stand up to the right red spiral ray. The nuclear pulse. Come on, the nuclear pulse. Could just blow Kong back, knock him on his back, and then Godzilla could proceed to just stump or tail slap the crap out of him. Kong is going to need firepower. Now, back in some Kong variations back then, Kong had lightning powers. He was able to chant it through his fist, pretty much like Shazam does, and pretty much clobber him, pretty much clobber other monsters with that electrical power. He will only use it as like our last resort, so if he was fighting like the V-Rexes or something, or the Skull Crawlers, no, he, he, you want to use that, what's the point? Boy, I'm a manhandle you right here, right now. Come on. Come on. I'm a manhandle you. You know why? Because I own you. That's how I'm going to do it. I own you. Don't point. I just own you. Welcome to my house. Population you. You go on Skull Island, you get manhandled. That, that's basically what the gist was of Skull Island. Unless you are a hyped up monster, you get manhandled by Kong. Even the school crawlers were hyped up monsters. Well, the big one, or Ramorak, or whatever it's called. I'm calling it the big one, because that's the name I know it by. The Alpha Skull Crawler, I mean, even. So, yeah. I mean, sheesh. Kong basically manhandled his monsters. He manhandled the Mirror Squid. He was supposed to manhandle a sea serpent in that. Probably a reference to... Manda, you know, pretty much everything is Skong. Skull Island was a reference, except for most of the creatures. I mean, the... What was it? The Mother Long Legs was a reference to Kumonga. So maybe Kumonga is actually in the monster race. Maybe Kumonga is canon. Or, maybe it's just a reference or whatever. I mean, doesn't really matter, right? The Triceratops Skull and Skull Island was a reference to the old 2005 Kong Skull Island, where they had dinosaurs in them. That would have made sense if they had them in this movie, but I understand what they were going for. Plus, they didn't want to rival Jurassic Park. Keyword being rivaled, and I use that term loosely. Rival Jurassic Park? Pfft. More like destroy it. Probably crush it. Advertise destroy, bro. But anyway, guys, comment down below on what you think Kong brings to the table. And, well, I'll give you guys another video since I have not been doing my job of being a good YouTube host. I'm very sorry about that. I'll be starting my Marvel channel tomorrow as well. To, since today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. So I will see you guys after church. Have a blessed day. And remember, your Lord and Master loves you. Bye.